Greetings viewers, I am Eric the Car Guy and I want to thank you for tuning in today to the ETCG1 channel and here on my ETCG1 channel I start things off with hey, if it's your birthday, happy birthday and please enjoy this digital cake I got for you. I'm also aware that this video will go live on Memorial Day 2020 so I'd also like to extend a huge thank you to the men and women past and present of the armed forces that, well, help make what I do possible. So thank you very much for that. Now let's get on to the topic at hand. So last week I'm working on dad's truck and I got a little too close to the exhaust and my hand kissed the exhaust header and I got this nice little burn to show for it. I took a picture of this and posted it to social media and asked you, the audience, about any injuries that you received while working on vehicles. And well, there's a whole lot of you out there and some of you with some very traumatic injuries from this and I'm, I'm very sorry about that. Uh, but one recurring thing that kept coming up over and over again was pretty much busted knuckles or I punched myself in the face. And I have punched myself in the face before while working on things and trying to break things loose. But what I thought I would do today is share with you something that was shared with me many years ago that saved me from many busted knuckles. I still get them, but not nearly as much. And I'm hoping this tip will help you and save your knuckles and hands from injury uh, while you're working on cars and trucks. All right, here's the tip that I want to share. Say I wanted to break this bolt loose uh, with this wrench. One thing that I want to do is I do not want to do this with a closed fist. Once this breaks loose or say it slips off this nut, bam, I'm punching the transmission and bloody knuckles. So to avoid this, what I do is I always push with an open hand. That way, if it breaks loose or something and hits it, my hand is open and the wrench takes the brunt of the force, not my hand. So whenever you're breaking something loose, do it with an open hand. Don't do it with a closed fist, do it with an open hand and that will help prevent a lot of injuries. Another tip to go along with this is whenever you're breaking something loose by hand is to use longer tools. Um, that's the reason I have this really long wrench. It's one of my favorite wrenches. It gives you a lot more leverage uh, than the wrench that I showed you. And as a result, you don't have to expend as much effort when you're breaking something loose. It also can, in some cases, keep your hands and fingers away from uh, things that could cause an injury. So longer tools also help a great deal with breaking things loose. I think the handle of this ratchet that I've had for many, many years perfectly illustrates that this is a sound method and helps prevent injury to your hands. Um, as you can see, the handle of the ratchet took the brunt of the hit, which is what I'm advocating here. So I hope this method helps you, helps save you from some busted knuckles and some injuries. Um, like I said, I posted this to social media and a lot of people posted a lot of things about having busted knuckles and also punching themselves in the face while breaking things loose. I realize at times it's unavoidable, but whenever possible, do this and I hope it will help save you. A real quick drop in note about this messed up handle is uh, a while back, a viewer sent me some new handles to replace and put on my ratchets. I just simply haven't gotten around to doing that yet. Sorry. Also, several people talked about like I didn't wear my safety glasses for a second and now I, you know, I've got an eye injury. So I, I say it at the end of all of my videos, the first thing I say is be safe. And that's what I'm talking about. You know, work safely, be conscientious with what you're doing. Don't rush through it. Uh, it's just not worth hurting yourself. So have fun fixing things. That's the second thing and stay dirty. And what that actually means is stick with it. Sooner or later, you'll get through it. Trust me. Anyway, if you have automotive questions, uh, I'll post a link in the description to ericthecarguy.com along, along with a link to other useful information and videos that might be related to this. Uh, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with the world. Um, hopefully you'll be able to help somebody out. Anyway, thank you again so much for watching today and be safe, have fun, stay dirty. Push with an open hand. I'll see you next time.